Brought to you by Baby Lock for the love of sewing. Sulky Threads. Express yourself with sulky and create with confidence. Our exclusive fabric partners. Be sure to look for their newest lines of fabric. Welcome to Quiltmaker's Block Network. I'm Denise Stark with Quiltmaker Magazine. Today I'm going to share with you Corn Flowers, block number 347, designed by Nancy Mahoney. It appears in Quiltmaker's 100 Blocks, volume 4. I'll show you how to make this block and then we'll look at making some fun folded hexagon flowers. For this block, you'll need a background fabric, a fabric for the stems and leaves, one for flowers, one for the flower pot, and another for the border. The cutting dimensions and everything you'll need to make this 12 inch block are on your screen. Lightly press your background patch in half both ways to help with the placement of your applique. Prepare and fuse your stems and leaves to the background. Do the same for the flower pot. Use a matching thread and machine blanket stitch around the edges to secure your applique. Next we'll make the folded flowers. Lightly press a circle in half both directions. Then you'll want to take the bottom edge and fold it into the center and lightly press. We'll get that here. Then we're going to start folding in the sides. So you'll take this point, fold it into the center, and press. And that starts to create the edges of your flower. And here's what you'll end up with. You'll continue folding the points all the way around until you have a completed hexagon flower. You'll make four flowers for your block. Once you've made your four hexagon flowers, you'll want to tack a little bit in the center just to kind of hold it in place until you get it positioned on your block. You'll position them on the stems and wherever you like, and then you'll want to sew those down with a button in the center or a bead or something to hold them in place. Once all the flowers are attached, then you'll trim the block to its final size. To finish your block, you'll sew the borders on using partial seams. So attach the one on the right with just sewing part way, and then you'll continue around clockwise and sew the one on the bottom, the left, and the top. And then once that's done, then you can go back and complete this seam. To complete this block, you'll sew the borders on. The first one is attached using a partial seam, so you'll just sew that part way. And then you'll continue adding borders to the bottom, the left, and the top and then you'll be able to go back and finish this seam to complete your block. And here's your completed cornflowers block. Nancy Mahoney also designed a quilt using this block that appears in Quilts from Quiltmakers 100 Blocks Fall 2012. It's called Mexican Sunflowers. She combined it with another pieced block to create a beautiful quilt. To stay in touch with Quiltmaker, sign up for our free e-newsletter, Quilty News. Corn flowers and 99 other unique blocks can be found in Quiltmaker's 100 Blocks, Volume 4. Thank you for joining me today, and we hope to see you again on Quiltmaker's Block Network. This is the victory lap. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? <laughs> I was like, oh, I just totally drew up like I was ready to go down the card here again. Welcome to Quiltmaker's Block Network. <laughs> no.